Um, good afternoon, good evening, people. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Um, this is Vin here, Vin Jolly, Vinny, talking this Vinny right now, actually. And um, just want to take a few minutes. I only have, like, some time before I have to head out. I just want to share a few things. Um, I'm trying to think of where to start, actually. Um, I guess I'll start here. Um, I was contacted by a few people regarding last night's video for Valentine's Day. And I'm sure many of you know, in fact, I sent a few text messages out to some people saying, Hey, check out my Valentine's Day skit I'm about to do is the Jolly Cat. So not everyone knew, um, but I'm sure many of you know. I'll just clarify it now. Um, this is not my Jolly Cat page. I understand that. The actual Jolly Cat page is a like page that I use. I'm trying to use more, but I don't use it as much. Um, on Instagram, on Facebook, I'm trying to make the show Wacky Jolly Reality. Going to start using the YouTube more. However, this Facebook, Vincent Anthony Pirelli, in parentheses, the Jolly Cat, is my personal page. And although I would rather and hopefully soon just use the Jolly Cat page, I use this personal page for experimentation, for expression, um, for sharing my ups, my downs, um, things that are on my mind as a human being. And also I use it to also do the Jolly Cat at times or it could be an angry character or it could be a sad character or it could be anything from, you know, just about anything. So whatever I do on this personal page um, is really up to me. And it may be the Jolly Cat. It may not be the Jolly Cat. It could be anything. It's really my choice as an individual. Hope that's clear. Um, those that know me well and those that know my performance um, can sometimes tell what I'm doing, sometimes not. And that's part of it. I try to leave it a mystery at times. So regarding the video I made last night with the Valentine's Day, if those of you uh, didn't see it, you have no idea what I'm talking about. If you go on my page, it's the last video I posted before this one, and it's titled uh, Jolly Princess, Where Are You sort of thing. Um, where are you, my Jolly Princess? Now, um, I like to mix reality into all fantasy, fantasy reality, and into every character I portray, I try to um, make it as real as possible, even though I use a lot of imagination and it is a portrayal, I do try to become the character. So in other words, whether I'm doing water like a duck or whether the jolly cat is just sad or whining or praying or whatever it might be, um, I try to make it a real becoming. Um, in other words, in that moment, in those moments where I am the character, whether in this case the jolly cat or in another case an angry character, yes, there might be some of me expressing but all in all, it's a character. It's a becoming. It's not really me. However, it is me in those moments because in those moments, I truly like to become the character. I hope that makes sense to somebody. I'm a little tired today. I'm trying to express it correctly. So even though it's not me, it is me because when I become the character, I tr see, I don't like when people say that um, acting is uh, lying or I, I, I don't want to give out names, but somebody I know recently just got discovered and, you know, they had a good look and now they're going to be starring in a movie. And I was talking to a relative about it. Hey, is the person going to even take acting classes? How did they do it? And the cousin was like, well, he's a good liar. And I didn't say anything, but it kind of made me upset in a sense, because at least for me, when I portrayed a jolly cat, and I'm not saying every other actor agrees, but it's not lying. You know, when you do a character, when I do a character, it's supposed to be a real becoming. I mean, obviously, technically, we know that it's that's us, but it, when you paint a picture, you know, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but if you make a painting, um, you know, I like to use this correlation, hopefully it speaks to somebody, I'm not sure, but if you um, draw something or you make something, obviously, you know, technically, you know, remember that guy on Channel 13, what was his name? Something Ross, he used to put us to sleep. Always so wonderful the way he put things together. And you used to always see the the the, the grass and, and the trees. And it was so beautiful. Whenever someone makes a painting, obviously the artist knows technically, well, that painting is not real. But it depends how deep you want to get. It depends on your perspective and your imagination. In that world, it is real. In that mind, in that moment, it is real. When you make a painting, you try to make that painting come to life. So if I portray a character, whether it be Mad, Sad, or the Jolly Cat, 
I try to make that character come to life. And of course, just like in painting, you're going to mix some real emotions. You're going to mix some real stuff. And there might be some stuff that I relate to. But if I portray the Jolly Cat, it's not going to always be him doing the song and dance, especially if my voice has been hoarse. So to get back to yesterday's video, my voice has been hoarse. I'm still recovering. Hopefully next few days, um, I'm hoping to, you know, be able to get back to Jolly Cat mode. And if any of you guys know what that means, it means right now I'm talking as Vinny. But when I perform as the Jolly Cat, a lot of the stuff that he does is hard to do if my voice is hoarse. So anyway, last night I figured, okay, my voice has been hoarse. It's Valentine's Day. As a skit, as a spoof, plus as an expressionist, I'll portray the character of the Jolly Cat who's sad because on Valentine's Day he cannot find his Jolly Princess. Now... I know that not a lot of people liked the video. Maybe some people didn't know what to make of the video. Some of my quote-unquote fans, I think they found it funny or it wasn't really supposed to be funny. Again, yesterday I wasn't really doing the Jolly Cat, you know, more physical. It wasn't really physical comedy or it wasn't really musical. If you watched it, it was more expressing, you know, it was more me as an actor expressing some stuff as this character. And the Jolly Cat was sad, you know, he was kind of down and out, but he was trying to find some hope and he was praying. And if you watched, there was also some messages I put in there um, about how girls should be in the Jolly Princess, etc. And, um, you know, I made it and I posted it and, um, you know, maybe some people didn't know what to make of it. And I saw that some people, including my aunt, called me today. And, and you know, I, I, I love everybody and I understand that not everyone's going to get what you do. But, you know, some people are like, you know, what are you doing? Why are you whining about looking for a wife? And first of all, if you look at my post yesterday, it's funny. I'm actually pretty content. I mean, yeah, granted, of course, I'd love for God to bless me and a wife. Who I'd be lying if, the, you know, if I said that otherwise. But I'm also in a place in my life where I'm focused on God's wholeness and healing that he's doing in me. And I'm in a place where I'm trying to allow God's love to really fill me. And I'm content in that, even though I do desire a wife. And, um, you know, and uh, I'm also focused on what God's doing in my career. And uh, I'm trying to make steps, as you guys know, in the Screen Actors Guild. And I have a show coming up. So I'm trying to focus on what God has so that I could be the best husband possible. So actually, if you look at my post yesterday, one of the posts that I put for Valentine's Day, just being me, Vinny, I actually said... I said, you know, I've never really had a Valentine, but I've known perfect love for o over 10 years. Praise Jesus. It was my way of saying, you know, God is good. And that's what Valentine's is really all about. It's love. So obviously last night was a skit. It was the Jolly Cat looking for his Jolly Princess. For those of you that are confused that are calling me and or posting things and saying, look at this guy whine and he's looking for this girl and how pathetic and blah, blah, blah. Obviously, I mix truth in, in fantasy, but again, it was a character. Now, I think pretty soon I'm going to start just doing the Jolly Cat on the Jolly Cat page. I know I've been saying this for a while, but um, it's going to come soon. I really am talking to a few filmmakers and people who do camera work and editing, and we are talking about making the Wacky Jolly Show and putting it on YouTube and different things. And I'm already considering just doing my stuff for Instagram as the Jolly Cat. And honestly, just coming on here once in a while to talk to you guys, because really I want to focus on my character as the Jolly Cat. Um, just like, you know, Rowan uh, Atkinson made Mr. Bean. Hey, me, Vincent, I created the Jolly Cat. And it, it may not be loved by everyone, although I know it's impacted people and I know people love it. This is the character I'm trying to express. This is the message I'm doing. So from now on, I want to try much more to... Um, perform from these platforms. But if I do come on this personal page, just know that it could be um, it could be me being creative. It could be me being honest. It could be an expression. I may play a character. It could be a bad character. It could be a good character because as a human being, I'm a creator. I'm an actor. So whether it's the Jolly Cat or not, you never know what to expect when I come on here. Not that I'm being dishonest. It's that I'm being creative and I'm using creativity as a way to channel my emotions and most of all to give God glory and hopefully to bring people joy. So I hope that's clear to some people, whether it be people in the family or you're always always going to have naysayers and you know it's funny guys I've been through so much lately but you guys know what the forums made about me and the haters that are reposting my videos and saying all these horrible things about me and all these you know these attacks and I don't even want to say the people's names and it's funny I, I really can say this without a shadow of a doubt it's actually made me stronger as a human being and you know you always hear how stuff that doesn't kill us makes us stronger and it sort of makes sense but it kind of sounds cliche but I'm telling you man I'm in a place in my life where I really don't care what anybody thinks and that's not a bad thing 
thing. I love God. I love humans. I love performing. I love you and I love people. But I think to finally get to a place where you don't care what people think, I think we have to realize why we don't care what people think. I was actually telling a friend this today. You know, I was saying to her, we were talking about it, and uh, she was saying, no, she doesn't really care what people think anymore. And I was saying me either, and I was saying the reason why. When you don't care what people think, it's because you've come to a place in your life where you know, not that you're perfect, but you know exactly who you are in God. You know who God is in you. You know who God is. You know your purpose. You know your gifts. You know where you're going. You know what you've done good. And you also are aware of your weaknesses and you know what you have to overcome. And a lot of what's transpired in the past few months by all these quote unquote haters and mockers and even my own mistakes and snapping out has actually taught me a great lesson to love what I do, to love God, to love my craft, to keep on going. And I'm actually at a place in my life where I'm, I'm enjoying the process. And uh, I look forward to bringing you guys much, much more great material in the future from the Jolly Cat and beyond. So look out for the Wacky Jolly Show. We're going to be posting on YouTube frequently. It will be a reality sitcom, so to speak. Every day, Jolly Cat, my character, going on jolly missions, you know, trying to change the atmosphere and also looking for his jolly prince. Maybe even make it a web series eventually, but for now it will be a reality sitcom. The Wacky Jolly Reality. Look out on Instagram for Jolly Cat Antics. And like I said, anything I do on here, um, it may be the Jolly Cat. It may be me. It could be a poem. It could be me just talking. It could be an angry character, a sad character. As a human being and as an actor, this is my platform. And this is what I choose to do. So if you guys want to be here, that's great. If not, I understand too. So just wanted to clarify a few things. Um, for those who just joined in, you may have missed everything I said. I guess you can go back later and watch it if you really care to. It doesn't matter. But, um, you know, I, I, um, I noticed a few people just joined in now. And I, I had said a whole bunch in the past 10 minutes or so. And um, I hope that everyone receives what I say and uh, what I've said. And hopefully um, it fits you well and, and, and uh, you understand where I'm coming from. Anyway, um, if you guys have any questions about what I've said... I'll leave the platform open for a few minutes before I have to head out. Um, so go ahead. Um, I guess I'll leave the platform open and I'll answer any of your questions that you may or may not have. Um, for now, I think that's it. If I come up with anything else to express, I guess I'll express it. But for now, um, I guess I'll just answer some questions. So let me know if there's any confusion about what I said or if you need me to clarify anything further. Um, hope that helps. So... Let's see, comments, um, I'm eating peas, that's good, peas are good for you, you know, Jason, I do need to eat more peas and vegetables myself, because I know I haven't been eating the healthiest lately, though I've been drinking a lot of Warner Lemon, do need to eat healthier, because when you eat junk, you feel like junk, and yeah, so that's good for you, I definitely need to do that as well, praise God that you're eating well, good skit, very believable, thank you, you know, I do try to be the best actor I can be by making the characters come to life. I try not to lie at all, when, especially the Jolly Cat. I try very hard to make it a real becoming. So when I become the Jolly Cat and I play this talentless buffoon who says the same thing, who's very kind of corny but pure, the reason why people laugh is because, you know, it, it, it's like this character is such a buffoon, you know. He's doing some, some simplistic stuff, and I won't get into the details, although I have in the past, but that's the, the art of the character, and the point is, is that when I become that character or any character as a human being, performer, and actor, I try to very much bring this character to life, that it's not Vinny trying to do something, but rather the jolly cat, like painting, bringing it to fruition, to life, so that you guys can experience the jolly cat as I experience the jolly cat and bring it to you guys as well. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, it's clear, but you should love the reactions. Listen, you know, I, I should, I should, we all have free will in life. You know, you could tell me what I should and what I shouldn't, you know, I love all reactions. Don't get me wrong. I mean, obviously as a comedic actor, as a performer who, you know, I love when people laugh hard and I love when I see them receive joy and God used me to bring a message. And I understand that some people are going to roll their eyes and it's all part of it. It's all part of the character. And in a sense, I don't know if you're going there, you're right. As an actor, you know, as long as I get a reaction, it's a good reaction. You know, whether they're laughing or they think it's totally ridiculous, it hopefully will make them think, especially when I share my message, you know, not to be in your head, to be out of your mind. However, when people um, 
get on here and they ridicule and they mock and they start to tear me down as a human being, although I understand what you're saying and I have been stronger lately and maybe God did allow it for good, you do have to get to a point where sometimes you have to block things out, whether it means not reading it or simply deleting or blocking the person. So yes, every reaction is a good reaction, but there are people out there, whether they be jealous or just used by the devil or just straight up haters that will try to take you off course, that will try to make you think that you're not doing anything good. And then then it's not enjoyable. So it's one thing if you do a show and one crowd laughs very hard as, as your character and you love it. In another show, everyone's like doesn't understand what's going on. Then you share the message. Fine, I can get that. But again, there's a line that shouldn't be crossed. And although God wants me to forgive those people, I have to use wisdom moving forward, which is what I'm trying to do. So... Um, well, they are haters. There was a such thing as haters called enemies. It's in the Bible. But the Bible also says to love your enemies. Uh, in this case, haters. Easier said than done. But actually, over the past few months, that's another thing that this has taught me. It's actually taught me um, face to face how to pray for those who persecute, how to pray for those who manipulate and try to make you look like something you're not, etc. How to pray for those that are hurting to realize that the real enemy is the devil, not them. And that we also need grace and I need grace. But sort of have mercy on others as God is having mercy on me so it's definitely taught me that but yeah there are a lot of haters um a lot of tips in chinatown amen um how old am i how old is the jolly cat the jolly cat is you know big kid at heart i don't really know the exact age i know at heart he's about five i haven't really decided you know in the sitcom coming up or anything i haven't really given him a per se age me as a human being um how old do you think I am? Why do you ask? I mean, I've, I've discussed it. I, I don't like to mention my age because I feel as an actor, it's not really important. Um, your, your brother Alex knows this. As an actor, it's more about not how old you are, but rather what your age range is. Obviously, as I put on weight, I need to lose weight. Your face, when it gets fatter, you look older, you don't look as good. Um, what I'd like to be, hopefully, in the next few months, if I get myself in shape and eat better and eat vegetables and feel good, I'd like to be able to play um, characters ranging from late 20s, mid-late 20s to mid-late 30s. That would be great to have like a 10-year where I can play people in their 20s, play people in their early 30s, mid-30s, and even late 30s. So I would love to be able to even, and if I really get myself in shape, even be able for the next few years, play characters that are in their, their earlier mid-20s, you know, if I really could get myself in shape. So I don't really think it's important um, what my actual age is. I think that's only important for the rational mind as you perhaps try to figure things out. I'm not saying you are, but I think more for me, it's more important what I can play. Um, well, then Steve may have it right. He may not. That's on him. Um, will I create a new character that will be friends with the Jolly Cat? Well, you know, I mean, you mean for another actor to portray or do you mean if I have a split screen? Because as you guys know, I have villains I've put out in the past. You guys have seen the Blue Madness. I made him back in the summer. Um, uh, one thing I will say, I don't want to give it away because I'm still in the process of making it. But one thing that I am creating is, as you guys know, I started my career as Vinny AO. And you guys know the story, the tragedy, blah, blah, blah. I am considering adding Vinny AO to the Jolly Cat and making the Jolly Cat and Vinny AO intertwine. But it's just an idea for now. I'm not sure. In other words, he'll still be a very childlike buffoon, very silly, very clumsy. But I may add the personality of Vinny AO, where, in other words, the Jolly Cat may speak very Brooklynese, where now he doesn't talk a lot. He's very clumsy. Um, I'm considering adding Vinny AO and the Jolly Cat and making them one character, or I just may keep Vinny A.O., the Brooklynese character that I used to do and sometimes do, as a separate character. So I don't know if that answers. Um, uh, definitely entertained. I'm, well, you might be entertained, but maybe all for the wrong reasons. But you're an individual, and as long as you don't cross the line, I'll keep you here. But if you continue to cross the line, I will pray for you, but I will block you, as you know. So, you know, yes, some people are entertained for all the right reasons. You know, they laugh, they think it's funny, kind of like the Three Stooges. They enjoy the faces, the voices, the physical comedy. They like the message. And there's people like you that perhaps are entertained because you think I'm a big jackass, which is fine because that happens and that's life. But again, if you cross the line and continue to cross the line, I don't care how amused you may be if you if you continue to be um, um, a distraction to what I'm trying to do in my creativity and in my level right now, then I have to let you go. And, and I have in the past, and there are people that will not be back on this page, whether it be Jolly Cat or my personal. So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, if not, it's fine. Um, I don't want to hear that guy's name. I, I will never 
have him on here again. I don't wish him any harm. I pray for him, but he his true colors have come out over the past couple weeks, couple months, more than ever, and he is nothing but a tool of the enemy to try to take me down and make me look bad, and I don't want nothing to do with him. The guy needs to grow up, not just grow up in age, but grow up in maturity and God's love. Um, he's deceived, and I have nothing to say about him, and if you keep on bringing him up, I will block you, and there are other reasons why I may block you, but that is one of them. So I really, that is the line, it's one of the lines. I don't want to hear about the guy, um, he's an enemy of mine. He is not a friend. He's someone that only pretended to be a friend just to take advantage of me. I don't care what you think. If you have another opinion, keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear about the guy. I, I only pray for him because God wants me to pray for him. I have I do not want to hear anything about him or what he's doing or anybody that's an enemy of mine. I'll pray for them, and if I see them, I, I will try to show them love. But God also calls us to have wisdom in life and discernment. So just because you pray for your enemies doesn't mean you keep your enemies in your circle. Um, that's called wisdom, and it's something that we all need, including myself. We need to pray for wisdom and discernment. So I will not keep an enemy in my circle, I'm sorry, because then that enemy will try to use the stuff that you're doing against you to try to stop you from fulfilling God's will. And I will not because what God has put in my heart to fulfill is much more important than than him and uh, what he's trying to do. And I know what God has put in me. And, and as I pray, you guys know what God has put in you and we have to pray for wisdom. So um, my father is doing much better. Thank you so much for asking. Actually, it's, um, I'm glad you brought him up. Um, uh well, Curtis, you might be right. That's exactly what Steve and a bunch of them were. But I try to have a little more grace on Steve because I realize that no one's perfect. But also, he's a family member. So I try to um, show him some love and grace. But I do have to be careful. Oh, thank you, Curtis. You remember that, the Jolly Goomba. Yeah, you remember the Jolly Goomba. So I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to call it the Jolly Goomba. But I may make the Jolly Cat more Italian and Brooklynese. As he does his physical comedy and silly things, he might be more Brooklynese. Okay, I understand. Thank you for taking the time to answer my questions. It's okay, Victoria. I hope I answered them. There's a lot of people here, so if I'm not really getting to you, I'm sorry. If you have any more questions, go ahead and shoot. And if I'm not clear on anything, go ahead and ask again. You know I care about you, and I appreciate you, and um, I really appreciate your support and everything you're doing. You know, and uh, I, I believe you're a humble, wonderful girl, and I, I pray for God's best in your life. Um, uh, hey, Juliana, how are you? How you doing? Okay, good to see you here. Um, yeah, give him a call. He's doing much better, thank God. He's a lot calmer, praise God. Actually, I'm very happy about something. I want to share something briefly, and then I do got to wrap it up soon. Um, my father never really understood the Jolly Cat. He always would say, you know, Vinny A.O. was real comedy. He loved when I did Vinny A.O. He always talks about it, and I'm sure you know Steve if you speak to him. He always was a big fan of Vinny A.O. In fact, the part of Vinny A.O. was about my dad and all the stuff he did, and my dad loved it. Um, you guys know the story what happened with NEAO and then Jesus came in the Jolly Cat. So even though my dad has always encouraged me to do comedy as uh, Vinny A.O., he's never really been a big fan of the Jolly Cat. He, he doesn't hate it. He just never really understood it. And I'd say it was a breakthrough about two weeks ago. And it's kind of interesting how this happened. Me and my father were taking the bus and I had my fat costume. I don't know if you guys have seen because I've been sick. I haven't been wearing it much and I plan to start using it very soon. Um, and, uh, the Jolly Cat's been wearing, not that I need a fat suit, but it's a fat suit. And I've been wearing this, you know, it's more professional, I guess, for the act. And, uh, I went on the bus and my father got a kick out of it. And I guess he allowed me to perform or it just sort of happened. And the bus was full of, um, you know, a bunch of, uh, you know, young people, old people, kids, adults, you name it. And, uh, everybody was laughing pretty hard on the bus and, um, it was a really good show, which I've had many times, but the point was, was unfortunately, it usually was never in front of my father, because either he would start snapping out right away, or stop with that, or maybe I was nervous that, what if I don't do good, and blah, 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 but this time, my dad actually saw the Jolly Cat um, really do well um, on the bus a few weeks ago, and now he's actually asking me, hey, how's the Jolly Cat doing? Uh, are you performing? Blah, blah, blah. And it was a big victory for me because, again, I always knew in my heart 
what I do and what the Jolly Cat brings, just like what's been going on with these people. They're finding all these YouTube videos of, you know, the Jolly Cat bombing and not doing well and people mocking him and they're trying to take those and say, well, that's all the Jolly Cat does. I mean, this is an old discussion. I don't spend much on it. You guys should know this. And they try to paint this picture that the Jolly Cat never gets laughs and this is all he ever gets. And this guy is just crazy to think he even has fans. And it was unfortunate that those were the videos that surfaced and those were the videos that they put out there. And people like my dad, I guess, were under this impression, even though during this trying time, God knew I knew the truth about what the Jolly Cat brings. People that are out there who see the Jolly Cat and love the Jolly Cat knew the truth about the Jolly Cat. But it was nice about two weeks ago on the bus for my dad to see face to face, so to speak, people really loving the Jolly Cat. 